Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm gonna be sharing with you my exact trades, what I'm looking for next, and the very important levels that you have gotta be aware of if you wanna be trading this profitably right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go into the Bitcoin chart here and currently I'm actually bearishly biased. I am looking for further downside to come here. Of course, I'm sat in short trades, so a little bit of short and chill. Uh, I'll be explaining the exact reasons why I am feeling this and what I am looking for next from the technical perspective. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I hope you can learn a lot from it. And also, yeah, just listen to the insights that I'll be sharing with you, dropping some little golden nuggets along the way. So yeah, let's get straight into it. That's what you're here for, right? The analysis. And I'm going to pick up, of course, we've started to break down from the triangle that I was showing you yesterday, which is absolutely fine. And I want to explain, first of all, in a lot of detail, the short position that I am in at the moment. So it all stems from while we were still within this triangle, and I've made this very clear. For me, this is an ascending triangle, but it's a 50-50. It can break to the upside, it can break to the downside. Just because it's an ascending triangle does not mean it's bullish. Lots of people think that, but it's not the case. So we had really simply an ascending triangle forming. And while we were with inside that triangle, I was, though bullish, at least to just take out those highs once more for another swing failure pattern above 25,300. Okay, so for me, it's really simple at the time. We're within this triangle. I see the real big potential of a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern to take out 25,300. And this is my bias. My local bias is bullish to look higher above 25,300. E.g. to get this swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. Take out the almost triple highs that we have here. Stop out a lot of traders before we get this reversal to the downside. This was an idea that I talked through my champions team on this Sunday's champions live stream. The explanation of what we're looking for for a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. To basically take out 25,300. You can see I have my alerts. If we zoom in here, you can see I have alerts ready and waiting set during that Champions live stream just above 25,300 for if we get that trading set up. Okay, and then yesterday morning, as we literally 8.30 a.m., we had it. Swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern, short positions taken, had the alerts going off, as you can see here, the alert that I had during that Champions live stream set activated swing fire pattern of the swing fire pattern short 25,300 okay probably one of the easiest shorts of the past month this one was why because we simply came up above the level activated the alert that we had set during the champions live stream and come back down and close below the level giving us the sfb of the sfp that's a short trade and just dump it now is what we wanted and <laughs> well that's kind of what we've got right we're from here on that swing fire pattern, we have had a lovely downwards move. We had a triangle trend line, which we have now also broken down from, giving us further fuel to the downside. I'd like to show you something here on the charts as we add back on some analysis. And that was as I was picking up from yesterday's video. We were right here. And myself personally did take a long trade off of this daily level that we had just tapped. And I was explaining to you how the important resistance today is going to be the view app on that point of control. And it looked like this at the time, right? I love the uh, I love the subtitles, by the way, automated from YouTube. But the VWAPers resistance sits very nicely on the range point of control. So we knew that this was the resistance above us. We've just hit the daily level on the VL value area low, which is a nice long trade. And we know the next level of big resistance above us. It's the view app on the range point of control. I made you aware of that for sure yesterday. And this is actually how it played out. Lovely bounce off the daily to the dollar, hitting that VWAP resistance and that VWAP resistance holding, holding and holding once more for another move to the downside. OK, so it's it's just real simple, like the technical analysis is undeniably working very well. Simple swing failure pattern of the high, drop down to value area low, retest the VWAP, more continuation to the downside. So it's like myself. And other coaches, this is Severin, one of the new coaches at Chart Champions, you know, staying in these short positions, recognizing the weakness, and, well, each step of the way, VWAP, continuing down, continuing down, continuing down, and it's like I'm saying to my team today, for me, I'm just going to remain in this short and chill for lower prices. First target is going to be Monday's low, and then let's see the reaction there. Okay, so, yeah, for me, you can see Monday's low marked out here. Okay, 23,831. 23, 
And then it's always the same for me. Check the reaction, take the trades. Okay, so over the past you know few days, we've had a swing fire pattern of the high. Check the reaction, it's bearish. Take a short trade. We come down to value area low. For me, this was a valid long trade. Well, we took it up to the VWAP. And what happened at the VWAP? Well, we had a valid rejection. And what happened? It made its way back down. Where to? Well, I'm looking for Monday's low next. From there, I'll see a reaction. Do we get a bullish reaction or do we simply get no slash bearish reaction? And we continue down to our next level, right? So it's level to level trading. I mean, you're seeing it in front of your eyes. We're calling levels. We're saying where the important next resistances are. They're getting hit perfectly and acting as the exact high of these moves. Exact highs, exact lows, exact highs. Now we're looking for another move to the downside. Of course, I'm more bearishly biased. Uh, so if we just lose this, it's fine. But that's my next level to look for the reaction of this. So, so it's not really difficult, right? This is what we teach. It's what we do every single day. It's mark out your levels, check the reaction, take the trade. Okay, so it's just like this. Mark out the levels, be aware of the setup, set your alert. When you see the alert go off, take the short trades and, well, you're hopefully going to profit from that right and profit you would have. And so, yeah, it's as simple as that. Of course, I actually saw this really nice post that I retweeted a few days ago and it was from Dave and he says, thanks for showing, thanks for giving me the knowledge to uh, trade spot Tezos. Uh, this was at a good support on the BTC pair and he's taken this long, obviously, on Tezos, um, on the Tether pair on Bybit, and he's made really good profits. This was two days ago, and I actually noticed today, Tezos is up another 10% to the upside, right? So it's like, you know, once you've got the knowledge, you're free to do this and trade other assets, for example, recognizing out of the thousands of altcoins, there's only one green today, and that's Tezos. And this guy with the knowledge learned at CC Pool <laughs> has made full advantage of this. And now this is increased even further to the upside today, continuing that lovely move to the upside. Okay, you can see, look at the levels here, just like absolute respect. But um, yeah, continued move to the upside, even with Bitcoin weakness. So yeah, congratulations, Dave, on that trade. It's very nice to see you profiting on it. And so for me, yeah, th that's what we do at Chart Champions, right? We educate you, we give you the levels, we teach you how to trade, and then you can be making your own profits alongside us, right? So it's, that's what we're here for, and that's what we educate you to do. Um, and yeah, that was the quick update that I wanted to give you today. It doesn't need to be more complex or confusing than that. If you want to see more from myself, then of course we have everything over on the website from the new integrated trading journal to all of the course and finishing with the live trading and daily update streams that you have from us every day. I've got a live stream tonight if you're interested. That's for the contenders and the champions. So I'll catch you in that if you're a member over on the website. And if you want those daily updates in the day, more live in the time, <clears throat> then you can get that via the champions package on the website too. For me, I'm going to sign out here. I hope you've understood why I'm short. I hope you understood why I'm looking for lower. And I hope you understand truly how I can have a bias that is one day bullish and the next day bearish. Because it's really simply, I have a bullish bias and I'm looking for my next level to the upside. When that level hits and I see a bearish reaction, I'm going to flip to bearish, okay? And so right now I am bearish. If we come down and one of my lower targets hits and gets a really nice reaction, well, then I can flip to bullish. So I always have a reason, a very good reason to change my bias. It's never for anything random. It's all in the charts. It's all off of, you know, the information and data presented in front of me. I then read that and make a very well-informed decision of how I want to take my next trade and how I want to manage that trade. So I hope that you've enjoyed this walkthrough and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.